Hello, I'm Thomas from the Kite Surf Centre. Today I'm just going to show you a couple of tips um, how to fly your kite and uh, how to get into these um, brilliant sports of kite flying. Okay, I'm now going to show you how to fly a kite. So what we're going to do to start with, I'm just going to unravel the kite, show you how to set it up and then go through the controls and how to actually fly it and get it into the air. So I'm just going to go through the setup now. So the first thing to do is we're just going to lay the kite out. Let the wind blow it out so it can unravel. And we're going to put a little bit of weight on the upwind wingtip. So our wind is going this way. So we're going to put a bit of weight on this end and that's just going to allow the kite to blow out so it's not catching the wind. Make sure all of these parts of so this bit here, the string on the kite, that's called the bridle. That supports the kite shape. Make sure it's not tangled up. So you can see how our kite works. We've got these air pockets along the front of the kite. When I pull this into the wind, you can see the air pockets fill up and that produces the aerofoil of the kite and allows it to fly and produce power. And then this bridle here holds it in position and also allows us to uh, control the kite left and right when it's in the sky. So the kite's laid out now. Now what we need to do is lay out our bar and lines and then attach it to the kite. So we're just going to put the ends of the lines just down by the kites here and walk it out. So I'm just untangling the lines here, just running them through my fingers and that also allows you to feel the lines as you're walking through them. So if you've got any damage to your line or perhaps you've got a knot in your line, you know it's there and you can uh, take the knot out, or if the line's really damaged, you might want to replace it and not use it. So now we can attach our lines, and what you can see is we've got color coding, and it's the same down on the bar end. We've got one side that's left, and that's always red. On all kites, on, from all manufacturers, there's always gonna be one side that's red. So always make sure when you put the bar down, red's on the left, and it all matches up on the kite here. We've got red up on this left bridle, so it all matches up nicely. And you can see on the end of the line, you've got flex of red on the line, so you know you're attaching it to the correct place. Okay, so to attach our lines, what we've got is we've got a loop and we've got a knot. So what we need to do is form what's called a lark's head knot. Put over this loop, so push it over so it looks like this. Fold those two circles down, so we've now got this slip knot. That goes over the knot, pull it tight up against the knot, and that's it, nice and secure, ready to go. Do exactly the same on the other line, and you can see this matches as well. We've got blue to blue, you know you've got it in the right place. Okay, so on all kites, even little kites like this, just your uh, trainer kites, we have safety systems. So you're gonna have a wrist leash, so make sure you put that on before you start flying your kite. And how this works is that if you're flying your kite and you let go of the bar, this line can run through the ring on the end of the bar. So the kite's now just going to be held by one line and it can flag out just how it is on the beach. It turns sideways, flaps in the wind to produce snow power. So that's your safe system, is to just let go of the bar as soon as it starts to go wrong. Okay, so we can pick our bar up and just like I said earlier, we've got that colour coding. So Red on the left, make sure you've got that the right way around. Okay, so now we're gonna get our kite into the air. And I've put those stones on the wingtip from when I set it up. So I'm just walk back gently, and the kite's gonna gradually start to lift. So we've got the weight on that wingtip, we just need to put a little bit of tension on the upper line that's gonna lift the kite up so it catches the wind. You give it a little yank, and that's gonna allow the kite to pop up into the wind. If it's really, really windy, we don't really want to be launching our kite like this because it might pull straight away. So in those situations, it's a really good idea to ask someone to hold your kite and then you can launch it on the edge of the window where it's not going to pull you so much. It's not too windy today and we're only on a little kite, so this is going to be perfect. <laughs> there we go. We've got the kite in the sky now. Now I can show you the controls. 
So to steer our kite, what we're trying to do is to make one line tighter than the other. So if you want to make the kite go left, we're trying to make the left line tighter. If you want the kite to go right, we're trying to make the right line tighter. So the movement we're doing on the bar is we're keeping the bar horizontal and we're pulling it in and out like that. So pulling left for left and right for right. What we don't want to do with the bar is try and steer it like a steering wheel because those line lengths are staying the same and the kite's not going to react. And the same, moving the bar up and down or left and right, the kite's not going to feel any of that. So just keep the bar in front of your arms, nicely bent, not too close, because then you don't have any movement, not too far away, because you could get overbalanced. So nicely bent in front of you and really gently left and right. So kite flying is very subtle, especially on little kites like this. They're really fast, so gentle, gentle movements. Gently left and right. And that's how we fly a kite. <laughs>